It is a very special day here at KDK. We are celebrating 75 years. It was 75 years ago, January 11th, 1949, that we had our first broadcast. And we are so proud to be part of this station's legacy. And three of the longest running current on air employees are Bob Pompiani, John Shumway, and this guy right here. So John is joining us now, and we have some, a special message coming up from Bob, too. Yeah. A little bit later. Yeah, so John, we want to talk to you first. Oh, wait a minute. Can I just say, I haven't been here for 75 years. <laughs> no, no one Please. thought you did. No. No. <laughs> Let's point that out right but now. But I do remember watching you when I was in high school, oh, and you had great. started here. <laughs> Where's and, my Jericho? And, no. <laughs> wait, and I, I remember being so impressed with you, as that's what I remember. Yeah. You were, like, out on a highway, walking around. And um, when you started, people got us confused. I would get called David out on the street. Uh -huh. He right. would get called John. People still call like, me a a Amber or uh, Oh, yeah, the woman Blondie. with the giant eagle always says, say hi to Amber. For <laughs> <it>. <laughs> so at least they had it somewhat right here. But, yeah, well, 35 years ago, I mean, I was young. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I was a kid when I came right. to And I was so intimidated. Uh, really? You know, oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh, yes. You know, I, I mentioned in the piece that we're running that Bill Burns read my first script. Right? Wow. And, wow. and Bill kind of went off on that script and didn't exactly say what I had written. And I thought, <gasps> I'm going to get fired in my first week. I'm not going to repeat what he said that day. But I went to the news director and I was so, uh, Sue told me, ah, that's just Bill. That's don't just worry Bill. about don't it. Worry. Don't yeah. worry. Oh, wow. So looking back, I mean, and this is like asking, you know, what's your favorite child, which is yeah, an impossible really. question. But do you have a proudest moment? Like, what are the things that, that you look back on and you think, I'm so glad I was part of that? Well, you know, I think anytime we did team coverage mm -hmm. on breaking news stories, yeah. um, I still remember the night uh, Flight 427 went down. Yeah. And I got called. I was headed mm -hmm. out. And I got a call because one of the people on the flight was a neighbor from right around the corner. Mm. And his wife called and said, can you get any information? <clears throat> and I yeah. mean, and at that moment, you know, it became very personal. Yeah. Uh, but our team coverage on that and so many other things that have happened, not only the, the sad stories, but also the fun stories. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, the, the Super Bowls and, and all that stuff. Right have right. been great. And in uh, January of 06, when the Steelers went to the Super Bowl in Detroit, I think I was home two days in the month, something like that, two or three wow. days. I was on the road with them in Cincinnati, Indianapolis, Denver, and Detroit. Well, I schedule. remember the more recent Super Bowl, and you were in, we were, it was in Texas. Uh, right, yeah, when we were there snowed. for the, the ice storm. Yes, yes. Yeah. And I oh, ran yeah. into the public works this? director in, in Dallas that day. And I said, so what are you, all, you know, I went into snow mode. I went into my traffic <laughs> mode, right? right? right. I said, what are you doing? He goes, well, we don't have anything to deal with this. That's it. You're like, well, let me tell you, I got a guy. Let me just give him a call. Yeah, that was pretty wild time. Oh. Yeah. What about you, David? Because we have you here, too. Do you have any? Well, you know what? I, I, I You think about sort of the high profile things right. that you've right. done sure. over the years. Sure. Like, I mean, covering Hurricane Katrina in, right. in New Orleans or, or two Pope trips, like covering going to New York and D.C. and, you know, and seeing the Pope, those different places. Oh, look at this. Look at this. This is the flood of 96. Oh, yeah. On Remember the that shore. morning? John Shumway's anchoring that morning. <laughs> seven hours straight. I'm out in the cold yes, for seven are. hours straight. Yes, you uh, are. <laughs> and you know what? But we got important information out. Yeah. And I think that's really what it comes back to like when you think about like the times when we're in the air when a tornado is coming through and you, you really realize we're not just informing people we're saving people's lives sometimes yeah yep. and that's like what an honor and and what a tremendous a responsibility yeah. and and that's what's so valuable and you also you know? learn how people come to us in those times they come to kdka right and that's a heavy responsibility yeah. it really is to right. know that you are their conduit for the information they need to know. All right. right, Shum, I have on here, it just says blooper. I'm not <laughs> sure what this means. but. Uh and you know what? I searched all over the place for this video. I wish I had this video, and I'm sorry that I don't. Uh, but we were doing the morning show, sitting right over there. Larry Richard and I, we started the morning show on right, KDK, right. right? And we're coming out of the weather. He was coming over. And you know how those, the weather guy sits down, and then you talk for a second, then you go on with the news. Larry sits down, he turns to me, and he sneezes. And he sneezed all over <laughs> my right side. Oh! And, and then he took his hands and he starts going, I'm sorry. <laughs> and I'm just sitting there going, this has never happened to me. But yeah, that was, that you was the moment. Keep rolling. Not even with yeah. young kids, you've never had that. Oh, well, I've had that. Yeah, yes. I could tell you stories about what the kids have done to me, but that was the first time on live TV. It was oh, great. Wow.
on right. live TV. Um, well, Bob, obviously, he works a much different shift than we all right. do. So he he does, he has a message for us. We wanted to play this really quick. Take a look. Hey, David and Heather, it's amazing, huh? 75 years of KDK TV, and I've been honored to be here as an employee for 42 of those 75. And as you can imagine, there have been so many great moments that we've been able to cover. I don't have enough time to get into all of them, but I can tell you some of my favorite ones. I'm going to go back, starting with the Cueto game. The PNC Park, that game against the Cincinnati Reds, a blackout that night. People chanting Cueto's name. He dropped the ball, and on the very next pitch, Clearly it got to him because Russell Martin hit a home run as the Pirates eliminated Cincinnati that night and one of the most amazing crowds I think I've witnessed here in my 42 years. The other thing that stands out, covering all five of the Stanley Cup championships, the one in 2009 because it took a while. They had lost to Detroit the year before, but Game 7 in Detroit, Joe Louis Arena, two goals by Max Talbot, unlikely hero, and then the save of the night by Mark Andre Fleury on Nicholas Lidstrom that would have tied the game. They win that one, and it was a huge moment for the Pittsburgh Penguins and Sidney Crosby as the youngest captain in the game. And of course, who can forget Super Bowl 43? We've been fortunate to go to all these big games, but that one down in Tampa, it featured Ben Roethlisberger, Santonio Holmes. I don't know which is better, the catch, the throw. The moment, though, was unbelievable, and we've been happy to bring you all of these great moments here on KDK. So, David. You're getting close to me. Keep on keeping on. And Heather, you'll be right behind. Uh, it's been a great 75 <laughs> years for the station and certainly a great 42 years for me. Back Aww. to you. Oh, we love he, you, Bob. He Look is our sports department. I mean, like that, he is so legendary here. Right, exactly. You know, he yeah. has been a mainstay here. And such a game. supportive guy. Okay, before we wrap this up, we've talked about this before, but you mentioned you two getting confused for each other when you first right. started. Oh, and he looked like a kid when he started. And well, right, in fact, some people called you Doogie Hauser. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think we have a picture. For Literally, good reason. I mean, yeah. I wear glasses, but but I don't. My glasses are thick. They made me wear fake glasses to be on TV. And so I uh, like so they you would I look would, older. Yeah, so I would. They <laughs> yes. thought I would look older. I think I just looked like a young person with bad eyes. But yeah, <laughs> people did call me Doogie Hauser. Brenda right. Waters to this day still calls me Doogie. She's the only person I let do that. Yeah. You know, but, but <laughs> looking young, David, it benefits you on this end of the career. Yeah, it yeah. does. Well, hopefully. All I don't right. Know. We'll see. Sham, thank you, and congratulations yeah, on your longstanding career here thank too. You. Yeah, yeah, great talking to you about this. Yeah, <laughs> super.